Chapter 2. The Razor. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I already killed her. Why are we redoing this? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um... But I already slew the princess. Too sure she also killed me, but I'd have to got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. <laughs> She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. <laughs> Voice of the cheaters. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is- No, she's not. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. When we asked you if you were sure she didn't have a weapon on her, you said you were positive she didn't. But it turns out she did, because when we charged her, she started stabbing us to death. Yeah. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Okay. It's to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Let me guess. She will lie. Yep. She will cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't know what uh, situation she's going to be locked up in this time. You couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Into the cabin we go. The oh. interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I mean, it didn't do us any good last time. <laughs> Are we really doing this without a weapon? You know she has one, right? Once again, I'd like to remind you that she's unarmed. But you're right. This would be a lot easier if you had the blade. I hope you know what you're doing. The door oh to the basement goodness. creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. Huh? There is something so wrong with that voice. Agreed. Yeah. She thinks she's better than us, like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form oh, of the princess comes different. into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? <laughs> She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Exactly. She sounds threatening because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? Um... I know you have a knife. I'll let you out of here if you drop it. A knife? What are you talking about? 
talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. I miss Lovey Dovey Princess. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. She's clearly armed. I, I don't have the key. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. I'd rather not. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who has the capacity to quickly arm himself? You do. So stop second guessing yourself, go upstairs, take the blade, and do your job. But I'm nervous. <laughs> All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Do you remember what happened last time? Last time? If somebody came into my house and tried to kill me and I cut his neck open <laughs> and he stabbed me in the heart and we both died looking in each other's eyes, well, surely I would remember that. Yeah. Yeah, you probably would. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. Last time? What are you talking about? Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only <laughs> ones to loop back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. If I come closer, you're just going to stab me, aren't you? And stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to help me. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry, do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? You're acting like you are. <laughs> My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. No, I have my dignity. Fine, and we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. <sighs> um... killed each other last time. I'd rather not do that again. But if we killed each other, then why are we here? Right now. Both of us normal and unstabbed. What if we were both honest with each other? I was sent here to stop you from ending the world, and you slashed my throat last time. That doesn't sound like me. I think I've said my piece at this point. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. <sighs> yeah, I'm not trusting this. Bye. It's boring if you leave. She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's... What the?! In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. 
So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. How <sighs> conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And Is those she? chains stop her from continuing her advance. At least for a moment. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. And then she oh, slices okay. through her arm. Yep, uh, should have seen that okay, coming. Maybe we aren't safe here. She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. That won't stop us from trying. Run, 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 run! <laughs> you sprint yeah, the stairs, you. but I wasn't exaggerating when I said she was running at you with a terrifying speed you couldn't hope to outpace. We don't make it, do we? No. <laughs> You feel her blade in your back before you make it to the first stair. I'm going to kill you now. Um. With a squelch, please, no? she does just that. Everything goes dark. Well, at least she was to the point. Chapter 3. No way You're out. on a path in the woods. No. Fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not <laughs> starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. You're what? The interior of the cabin is sharp, <laughs> a constricting mess of curved enough. and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What, what is did you this? just do? I feel dizzy. Oh, ho, ho, ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Fair enough. Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Nobody. Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. Who cares about cards? You're all acting like this is about winning and losing, while this is actually about having fun. The contrary. How Great. Do you care about having fun at a time. Paranoid. Like this? There is someone or something out there pulling the strings, and we're all just puppets until we can figure out how to see them. But what if that someone is us, eh? Eh? Wouldn't that be neat? If we were the ones pulling the strings, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have died twice already. Great, so obviously yeah. you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That Wait, I guess. Right. That's too much responsibility. It's only too much responsibility if these worlds are real. Mm -hmm. Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched. We take it. <laughs> okay, Fair sure. You take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. And then, we throw it out the window! <laughs> Wait, Why? That blade is the only edge we have. We are not. Too late. Fortunately for the rest of you, and for me, and for the sake of the world, <laughs> yes. Why do we have a contrarian? It's horribly unfair. He shouldn't be allowed to just do things like that. You were the one who made us pick it up. See? You're not the only one who can figure out how to do things. What's done is done. I suggest you make the best of it. Oh, is this how things are going to be now? All of us vying over a single body. Fine. See this corner? It's mine. And I'd better not see any of you trying to invade my personal space. So? Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but is there even now, a door to the basement this time? To get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are. Right? But there isn't a door, there's just that mirror. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. Yeah. Kind of feels that way. You can see our reality just fine. Why should we trust his? You so make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe right, that mirror. You reach oh, forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, surprising. 
I can't say I was particularly invested in looking at it before, but now, <laughs> now I really want to see what's in it. If it's so keen on hiding from us, whatever it has must be real good. It yes. feels like it's hiding something from us. It's part of the big picture. I just know it. That's why it's being kept from us. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. What? Oh, they sheesh. are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Well, that's not great. As your body tumbles onto the basement landing, the form of the princess comes into view, Riley smiling at you from a distance. She's getting more and more un unpinched. Hi. It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. Yeah. And you still don't have a weapon. That's funny. That's a joke. I'm going to kill you now. C could you not? Yes, that was extremely silly of whoever did that. Probably a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. Was you. I know. I'm just trying to add some levity to this. Well, since all of this was your idea, how about you figure out how to get us out of it? Oh, guys like us don't get to make any decisions. You should know that. <laughs> I decided to pick up that blade, and you decided to throw it out the window. I take it back. Having my own corner clearly isn't working because I can still hear you three yelling at each other. She's going to kill us again, you know? Especially if we keep fighting with ourselves. We need to get rid of our thoughts. So I wonder if this whole game is uh, a commentary about how tough it would be to be a, a fantasy era or whatever with... Uh, Multiple personalities. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. She's got the two. Princess's arms erupt twin sword blades, arms. glistening with her blood. The empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? You could not kill us. All right, I'm out of ideas. What we doing? Okay, we're fighting her, obviously. We're going to appeal to her authority. Puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. We're going to unconditionally surrender. <laughs> I'm going to go with not letting her stab us. We can dodge, right? Oh, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. We're going to let her stab us, and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let it ourselves feel it. Oh, the ideas idea suck. I'm coming up with something better. Um. Let's appeal to her authority. Puff her up a bit. No reason we can't talk our way out of this. Or I don't know, maybe we're flirting with her? Mm -hmm. Flirting would be funny even if we fail. Now that is an interesting move. Interesting? It's disgusting. No, don't try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? Yes. Of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. The one making the decisions is into it. Are you not? I, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I could go either way, honestly. <laughs> Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll throw her off. I know I'd be thrown off if she started flirting with us. True, true. Yeah, because you'd be into it. No comment. Okay, here we go. I know you want to kill me, but has anyone ever told you how gorgeous you are? I just feel like I really get you. I like you. Romantically, even. Maybe we can pass this out over a date? How do you buy me dinner before I'm bailing me to death? Or give her the look? Oh, we'll go with the top one. A nice little compliment. A rosy blush flushes in the princess's cheeks, and a wide grin cuts across her face. Oh. You're the only person I know, so that's a first. You're sweet. I like you. You're also gorgeous. She's got to just be playing us, right? Oh, be damned. This is actually going to work, isn't it? Still gonna kill you, though. Oh. Or not. Is anything going to work Aww. with her? She's so single-minded. It's like, whatever we do, it's always going to end exactly the same. Blood still glowing in her cheeks. The princess closes the distance between you and skewers you. Ow. Yeah, because even when they're in love with you, the crazy ones, yeah, 
Yeah. What worthwhile romance doesn't hurt at least a little bit? What matters? Oh, now you're here? She's even said as much. Oh, a new one of us. How many personalities do we have now? Like six? Oh, that only happens when we die. Did we die? Nah. We'd know if we died. Right? You're on a. No, you're in a. Where the hell are you? We're dead, aren't we? We're dead, uh, dead. How long have we been place. dead? Have we been dead the whole time? Dead, 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 dead. Uh, another Stop one. Saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? I don't actually know how to answer that question. I think he means how many times have we died? Yes, that. I think it's the third. Oh, I've lost count. To be honest, four. That can't be right. I haven't. It's four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so She's gone full of ideas. At this point. I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another us. Let's <laughs> see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point Maybe. where it makes us better than her. We'll win her heart eventually. Come on, show me something new. Okay, um. We're going to appeal to her authority. Puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. It doesn't work, and she kills you again, and again, and again, and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. She skewers you. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. She skewers you. More noise isn't helping. It's just making it harder to yeah. focus. What's the point? It's all the same. She skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. <sighs> Sick thing. It doesn't matter how many times this takes. We can't give up. We don't even have a weapon. Yeah, some clod threw it out the window. Hey, just because at this point most of the voices weren't here for that, doesn't mean you can just pass it off and deny your responsibility. Again, that was you. No, I was just the clod who suggested it. And if I knew we'd be stuck here forever, I wouldn't have done that. Just keep dodging, just keep dodging, just keep dodging. She skewers you. What's the point of avoiding me if you're not going to fight? See? We lasted a little longer. <sighs> Barely. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. How many blades does she have now? She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. Fine. One last time. None of this is worth oh, a skeptic. Think. Uh, good to see think. you again. She skewers you. And then everything goes dark and you die. Yeah. Chapter 4 The Empty Cup. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. No steel claw, though. Was tossing it the only thing we've done that was perfect? Who are you? That's a sick joke, universe. <laughs> sick, sick joke. If it's gone for good, then what if we just like we went away? It. That's what I've been telling you all. We can do this without it. We're tougher than steel. Interesting logic. Yeah, mind over matter. Who needs violence when you have love? Who needs love when you've mastered yourself? Who needs anything when we don't matter? Well, boys, are we ready? There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? 
This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them? Yeah. Leave it to the pros. Yeah, the pros. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. She's not a... Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's more of a slide. We know. <laughs> Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole Thank thing you. along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care. Just want to see how this ends. Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right yeah, back up again? Yeah, that's kind of weird. I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces, you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good, even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? <sighs> I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it, though. Just you wait. And not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, okay, narrator, do your job. Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, oh, into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains She's just a bunch of knives or blades or a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Dude, you're into some weird stuff. Yes, behold, the perfect woman. R really? Do you think we can throw her out? <laughs> oh, thanks, Contrarian. Yeah. That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating, that's all she needs. Mm. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. I'd say we bow down to her right now if that had ever even slightly worked for us. This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. Tell me your actions. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. This all right, is all okay, serious. guys, shut up! What just happened? It's so quiet. Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Oh, you should. I've got uh, some hands. That that's not a. Yeah, just you'll see. You do not act as the princess approaches. Instead, allowing her to crash against your form. And yet, there's seemingly nothing for her to crash against. Again and again, she swings at you. But there never really was a you to swing at. This worked before. I was able to make you dead before. She swings again, and this time she hits something, or something hits her. She looks down in confused terror as her arm bends and folds in upon itself. Did you do that? It's funny if you did. You're nothing. You've done nothing to me, and I've done so much to you, and that's who we are. But it's like you're nothing now. You can't be nothing. If you're nothing, then what am I? Am I nothing too? Maybe. No, I'm the one who hurts you. She hurls herself at you, but as she does, her metal body bends outward. The very contact with what you are, propelling her to the point of destruction. The din of shrieking metal subsides. And something small and delicate falls into your hand. It's her heart. 
It beats gently, calmly in your palm. Not another word is spoken. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. So there we go. You do so. How are we looking now? Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've withered. Hmm. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You're at the cabin. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. I'm not sure how I feel about adding this iteration of the princess into our little mixture here. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. What do you think of this vessel? This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. Hmm. She is exactly where she needs to be. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, if that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. But know that I do not wish you harm, even if you attempt to destroy me. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Does that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? No, not really. It just all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. It does seem small from here, and the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be, but that doesn't make any of them less special. Do you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess